Hi, this is Andrew Wood, and today I'm going to walk you through an entire book launch marketing campaign that I've put together for my new book, Fame, How to Build an Iconic Personal Brand in Any Industry. Now, this is a big, big campaign, and I don't want you to get overwhelmed, so I'm probably going to break it up into uh, two or three parts, but this is part one. And I think very early on, you're going to say, wait a minute, Andrew, I don't have that kind of graphical skill or I don't have these type of copywriting skills. But if you hang in there, I think you'll see that although this is kind of overwhelming to look at at first, uh, you'll see that it's not that hard to do. Yes, it takes time. Yes, it takes effort, but it doesn't take uh, as much as you think in terms of actual talent if you follow the right formula. So the first thing I'm going to show you is... Uh, the premise of the book and the premise of my book is it's important that you get the premise of your book because you're going to use this edited version on a lot of posts and in a lot of emails so the premise of my book is that in every town in every city there's a doctor a lawyer a real estate agent a karate instructor a yoga instructor who's famous is the best known person in town and the sooner you make yourself the best known whatever it is in town the sooner the business comes to you the more money and opportunity you will make and that's just as true as if you're a writer as if you're a golf pro so that's the premise of the book and uh, the target markets for my emails uh, I've got a bunch of target markets that I can go after because uh, I'm in the marketing business so I've got 69,000 golf pros 18,000 martial artists I've got entertainers I've got realtors and I've got hotel managers so I've got a good eight mailing list to start with and you may not but there's lots of different ways you can partner with people to get mailing lists and build mailing lists and that's not really what this uh, particular videos about uh, I've got other videos that go into that so my social reach is also quite large I've got over 10,000 connections on LinkedIn that's something anybody can do but of course you need to be doing it every day connecting with people that might want to read your book I've got 30,000 plus Facebook fans in the various groups I use I've got private Facebook groups and I'm in groups and this is a really good tip I'm in groups on LinkedIn uh, about 50 different groups that actually reach over 1 million people. Now, this particular product is obviously a, uh, a nonfiction, but I also do the very same thing with fiction. So the first thing before I even come even close to finishing the book is I start a landing page. I have a landing page letting people know that the book will be coming out and trying to build a list and build some buzz you know, months and months, I think I started this about six months before I uh, finished the book. So you're going to want to do that early, a landing page, letting people know. Then I start a teaser campaign, and this is something I do with all my books. The further in advance you do it, the better. And my teaser campaigns are simple little graphics. Uh, now here, uh, with simple little graphics, I am started a campaign called Fame 101, and I talk about how you know one specific thing that famous people uh, did so for example General Custer was famous long before the Battle of Bighorn because he wrote his own accounts of the battles he was in and published them in newspapers and that's how he became famous when lots of other generals weren't famous Borg was famous for a lot of things when in Wimbledon but his iconic uh, feeler outfit was one of the things that people really remembered about Borg and of course Billy Mays here our favorite pitch man so on each of these you can get these graphics and you have to be very careful about this I get these graphics uh, they're either in public domain which you can get from wiki commons uh, or Wikipedia. make sure it says they're in public domain because you don't want to use pictures you don't own this is very very important there's also places you can buy them uh, Alamy is the one of my use Dreamstein also has a lot of images and not too expensive but obviously I'm writing a book about fame I want to use famous people so I've got a lot of different famous people again all of these images I'm pulling off the internet that are in public domain and it's very very important that you find images that are in uh, public domain. So each one of these little tidbits, this is a cool one I love here, Colonel Parker, who was Elvis's manager, had uh, badges made up that say, I hate Elvis, uh, so that he could make money from people who loved Elvis and people who hated him too. So that's pretty funny. You'll notice on the bottom of every one of these little graphics, you'll see on the bottom of every single one, is the website fameattracts.com which hopefully people will see these graphics on Facebook on Instagram 
and uh, go take a look. Hey, you know, who is this guy? What's going on? These are kind of cool graphics and they're, they're kind of cool sayings. And I do about, I don't know, I think I did probably about 80 of those. Isn't that a great one there? Keep making new friends. And so all of these are little tips on fame and how you can get famous. Surround yourself with winners, obviously. Uh, choose your sidekick wisely. Uh, look for the right photo ops. Put yourself in your ads. So these are all tips from the book boiled down to simple little uh you know, little uh, graphical icons that you can use. I use them on LinkedIn, I use them on Instagram, you can use them on Pinterest, you can use them on Facebook, and I post these every single day, and I post different ones in different places so that if I've got, uh, you know, if I've got overlap of viewership, uh, I'm, you know, posting a different one on one blog than I am on another Facebook page, than I am on another Facebook page. I know any guys out there who are my age, uh, Evil Knievel uh, got rich selling toys. Everybody thinks he got rich jumping cars and on his motorbike, but he actually got rich selling toys. So anyway, I'll just blow through the rest of these very, very quickly. I'm sure you get the idea. Every single day you're posting these on different websites and different blogs and different social media to get your message out there. Okay, next step is something a little more uh, upmarket. It's not just an image, but now I'm going to take little tiny excerpts from the book uh, and I'm going to put these excerpts on LinkedIn. I'm going to put these excerpts on uh, social media wherever I can. And these, these ones you're seeing right here, I, I create these slides in LinkedIn. It doesn't take any, uh, sorry, I can make the correct, these sky, slides. Uh, on PowerPoint. It doesn't take any skill to do this. I have no mark, I know uh, creative uh, skill at all in terms of creating stuff uh, graphically, but when you go to uh, PowerPoint, you just stick your picture in, stick a little bit of text in, and ac it actually makes the slides for you. So all these slides again have little tidbits of information, the pictures and a domain, so I'm driving people back to my website. Every single one of these is, is meant to whet the reader's appetite, get them interested in, in a specific thing like how to boost your charisma or how your hair plays a part in your fame. And I'm going to go through these little anecdotes, these little stories that are from the book just teasers. I'm going to email these as well to all the different lists. Just little teasers where it's getting people interested in the book. So I'm going to skip down here quite a bit. I've got another 20, 30 of these that you're that you're not going to see. But, you know, just lots of these. Every day these are going out to get people interested. There's the Elvis story again. There's Orwell Rickenbacker, the first guy to kind of put his face in ads. There's Gary Player talking about luck. So we go through all these different things. Then finally, I'm going to go out and I'm going to find quotes from people, quotes from famous people where they're talking about fame, they're talking about the same thing I'm talking about, and once again, I'm going to get their pictures, put my URL on the bottom of every one of these uh, pictures. Then, this takes a little more skill, but not as much as you think. I use a stock service for this. It's called Promo. These cost about 25 bucks each to make, and I think they, uh, they look pretty good. See what you think. This is a little video, again, that I use on social media. Here's another one right here. Again, easy to make. Obviously at the end. So you basically you just go to promo and uh, you can get the clip that you like and then you just choose the music and then you just type the words in. So it really doesn't take any skill to create cool little videos like this to promote your book. Whether it's fiction or non-fiction, they've got all kinds of stuff including uh, fantasy type stuff. Show you one of those.
All right, that's enough of those. Uh, now, this is something you're probably not going to do. Uh, I spent a lot of time and effort on this, but I just want to show you anyway. This is, uh, I actually put together a 50-minute documentary on one chapter of my book, and I don't expect anybody to go to the time and expense of doing that. I sometimes wish I didn't, but if you look at this URL right here, uh, or if you comment down below, I'll give it to you. You can actually uh, see that for free. It's a 50-minute documentary that I did. So the next thing is you're going to test your covers. You're going to come up with different looks and tests, see which ones work. Then, of course, the most really the most important thing of all is creating a killer landing page. And a killer landing page is a great sales pitch. It's not just blurbs from the book. It's not just bullet points. It's an honest-to-goodness full-scale sales pitch. Now, maybe not everybody reads all of it. Maybe only half the people read all of it. Maybe some people just scan the headlines. With this landing page, I forget how long it is. I think it's about 14 pages. But I go into every single chapter. I talk about the benefits of every single chapter. I show pictures from every single chapter to get people interested. If you're not interested in one person, you'll be interested in another. And then at the end, I've got a bio. So the, long, the more you tell, the more you, tell, more you sell. A lot of people don't believe me on this, but I've been in the marketing business 30 years, and I've never seen a long page not out pull a short page yet. Okay, you're gonna want to write a series of email sales letters. And again, what I like to do with sales letters is I like to customize them to my audience. So this one's aimed at my mailing list of martial arts instructors. And it talks about how I got famous in the karate business when I was in the karate business, despite not being Chuck Norris or Bruce Lee. And so it's very targeted to my audience. This one here is targeted to my golf audience. Uh, again, I'm relatively famous in the business of golf. And so this talks about how being famous uh, you know, in the golf business is uh, a plus if you're a golf instructor. This one's actually aimed at authors because I do have an author list and some people follow me on my author program. So you want to target your your sales letter and you want to have follow-up sales letters. So once they buy, if they're, if they're buying direct from you, and again, I sell 85, 90% of my books direct. I don't, I only sell about five or 10% of books from Amazon. And if you sell direct from your landing page, then you can have an auto response sequence that asks your reader to uh, post on social media, ask your reader to review your book, and ask your uh, reader to uh, share your book with their friends. Then finally, I've got an author Q&A, and my author Q&A is going to be there for anybody who wants to uh, put it on their blog, or anybody who wants to write about the book, or anybody who wants to review the book. The easier you make it for them to do a review or a post about your book, the more likely you are to get it reviewed or get somebody else to write about it. And of course, we're going to get early comments from famous people that I know, and you can do the same with famous people you know. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty intense, but as you see, the, uh, the little graphic things you can do in Canva yourself, you don't need any skill. The videos, you don't need any skill. The sales letters are mainly just taking uh, excerpts from my book and putting a picture of the book at the bottom of the emails. Obviously, if you have email lists, uh, it's very, very, very helpful. If you don't, I've got other videos on my YouTube channel that will show you how to do that. I know that's a lot to take in at once, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a comment below. Please like the post. And of course, uh, please subscribe to my channel and hook up with me at marketinglegend.com. I do have a special writers uh, group there, which is my uh, own blog social page, and I'll be happy to help you with any question you may have if I can. Thanks for watching.